What up, everybody? This is your boy Tech G back with another video to help you successfully pass the CompTIA A plus 220 1002 examination. So let's get into it. In this video, you are going to learn about wireless security protocols such as WEP, WPA, WPA2, WPA3. You're also going to learn about authentication methods such as single factor, multi factor authentication, radio and TAC acts. Let's talk about some protocols and encryption. So the standards for wireless encryption are as follows. The first one you have is called WEP or Wired Equivalent Privacy. And this is a security algorithm for the IEEE 802.11 wireless network. Its intention was to provide data confidentiality comparable to that of a traditional wired network. WEP, which is recognizable by its key of 10 or 26 hexadecimal characters, was at one time widely in use and was often the first security choice presented to users by router configuration tools. However, WEP encryption has aged and is no longer strong enough to resist attacks from hackers due to its short encryption keys and some of the transmissions for the handshaking process being unencrypted. Next, we have WPA or Wi-Fi Protected Access, and this was designed to replace WEP. And there are three types of WPA encryption. The first one you have is WPA, and this uses TKIP or Temporal Key Integrity Protocol Encryption, which provides better encryption than WEP. Then you have WPA2. This uses AES or Advanced Encryption Standard, which uses a 128-bit block and supports variable key lengths of 128, 192, and 256 bits. It allows up to 63 alphanumeric characters, including punctuation and special characters, or 64-bit hexadecimal characters. And it supports the use of RADIUS authentication servers. And then you have WPA3. This uses 128-bit encryption or a 192 bit encryption for enterprise versions. And this is not currently a part of the A plus 221,002 exam. And we have TKIP, our Temporal Key Integrity Protocol. And this is a security protocol used with the IEEE 802.11 wireless networking standard. TKIP was designed as an interim solution to replace WEP without requiring replacement of legacy software. This was necessary because the breaking of WEP had left Wi-Fi networks without viable link layer security. And a solution was required for already deployed hardware. However, TKIP itself is no longer considered secure and was deprecated in the 2012 revision of the 802.11 standard. Then we got the advanced encryption standard. So AES is a specification for the encryption of electronic data established by the U.S. National Institute of Standards and Technology in 2001 and is considered more secure than TKIP. AES is based on the design principle known as substitution permutation network and is efficient in both software and hardware. Let's talk about authentication. So authentication is the act of proving an assertion such as the identity of a computer system user. In contrast with identification, the act of indicating a person or thing's identity, authentication is the process of verifying that identity. And there are four types of authentication methods used for wired and wireless networks, and they are... The first one you have is called single factor authentication. So the traditional user authentication process for accessing computer resources is single factor authentication. With single factor authentication, only one category of credentials is specified. And basically that means a user just has to provide a username and a password and they are good to go. Next, we have multi-factor authentication, and this is an electronic authentication method in which a computer user is granted access to a website or application only after successfully presenting two or more pieces of evidence or factors for an authentication mechanism. And those factors are things such as knowledge. This means this is something only the user knows, such as a username or password. Then you have possession. This is something only the user has, such as a token. And then you have inherence. This is something only the user is, which is your fingerprint or retina scan or something that is only unique to your individual body. 
Let's talk about RADIUS. So this stands for Remote Authentication Dial-In User Service. And this is a network protocol operating on ports 1812 and 1813 that provides centralized authentication, authorization, and accounting known as the AAA. And this is for management of users who connect and use a network service. Users who want to access a network or an online service can connect to a RADIUS server and provide a username and password to attempt to gain access. The server would then authenticate or decline the access to the network or the service. And then finally, we have TACAX, and this stands for Terminal Access Controller Access Control System. And this refers to a family of related protocols handling protocols, remote authentication, and related services for network access control through a centralized server. The original TACAX protocol, which dates back to 1984, was used for communicating with an authentication server, which was common in older Unix networks. A user already authenticated via TACAX into the network was automatically logged into other resources in the system as well. TACAX in its original form is not very secure and has been updated and replaced by TACAX Plus, which is a proprietary form by Cisco Systems. And now let's do some of this outstanding check on learning, shall we? So the first question is, which of the following wireless security protocols has been discouraged in favor of newer standards due to known vulnerabilities resulting from implementation flaws? Is it EAP, AES, WPA2, or WEP? So which of these wireless security protocols has been discouraged in favor of newer standards due to known vulnerabilities? The correct answer is... Uh, WEP or Wired Equivalent Privacy. Next question. A security protocol designed to strengthen WEP implementations is known as what is it? PEAP or PEEP, TKIP, CCMP or WPA2. So which one is the security protocol designed to strengthen WEP implementations? The correct answer is... Uh, TKIP, our Temporal Key Integrity Protocol. And the final question is, AES-based encryption mode is a characteristic feature of what? Is it WEP, WPA2, PAP, or WPA? So AES-based encryption is a characteristic of what? The correct answer is uh, WPA2 or Wi-Fi Protected Access 2. All right. So in summary, we have talked about some wireless security protocols and some authentication methods. Now, if you felt like you've gotten something valuable out of this information, go ahead, and hit the like button, the share button, drop a comment, but most importantly, subscribe to this channel. Also, go check out my website, Technology G, so that you can get read up on the latest and greatest to help you successfully pass the CompTIA A plus 220 1002 examination. And until next video, ladies and gentlemen, peace.